Chapter 12, Learning Objective 1. Describe ratio analysis and explain how the liquidity, profitability, leverage, and market ratios are used to analyze and compare financial statements. Various stakeholders such as shareholders, creditors, potential investors, and others will analyze a corporation's liquidity, profitability, and financial structure over more than one year and will compare the results to industry benchmarks. A common way to evaluate financial statements is through ratio analysis. A ratio is a stated relationship between two numbers of the same kind. A financial ratio is a measure of magnitude between two selected numbers taken from a financial statement. Let's consider the gross profit ratio which shows the relationship between gross profit, the numerator, and sales, the denominator. For big dog carwax, the gross profit ratio is 22%, calculated as $700 divided by $3,200. Another way to state the ratio is 22 to 1. Translated, this means that, for every $1 in sales, the company earns, on average, $0.22 cents after cost of goods sold, to cover expenses. Financial ratios are effective tools because they provide a common basis or context for evaluation. For example, let's assume companies A, B, and C all have different gross profit and sales amounts, as shown here, but the gross profit ratio allows for an evaluation of all three, due to all sharing the same context. The gross profit ratio for company A is 22%, $700 divided by $3,200. Company B's gross profit ratio is 23%, calculated as $650 divided by $2,800. And company C's gross profit ratio is also 23%, calculated as $540 divided by $2,340. Despite company A having higher sales and gross profit dollars, companies B and C both have higher gross profit ratios than company A. They earn slightly more in gross profits for every dollar of sales than company A does. In this example, the gross profit ratio has provided a common basis for evaluation of three separate businesses, provided they are from the same industry and have a similar product mix. However, ratio analysis alone will not provide a definitive financial evaluation. It is simply an analytic tool that, when combined with professional judgment, offers insight into the financial performance of a business. Therefore, qualitative factors, such as possessing an adequate capacity or the necessary equipment for ongoing production, can also provide valuable insights and should be combined with quantitative analysis. Notes to the financial statements and the management discussion and analysis generally provided with an annual report are good sources of additional qualitative information. One of the main purposes of ratio analysis is to highlight areas that require further analysis and investigation. There are four major categories of financial ratios, each of which include a number of individual ratios. Liquidity ratios measure the ability to pay current liabilities as they are due. Profitability ratios measure the ability to generate an adequate return on assets employed and shareholder investment. Leverage ratios measure the business's relative debt and its long-term financial viability. Finally, market ratios measure financial returns to shareholders and market perceptions of its value. Each of these categories and their respective ratios are covered in separate videos, starting with liquidity, 